like I say, I have been trying to make this video for about 30,000 hours, B. Like, dead ass. First, I had my ring light, right? Spent an hour looking for my ring light. Couldn't find the stand. I had the light part. Boom. So I looked for it because I had moved um, within the past month and it was abruptly. So a lot of my stuff was just getting bamboozled and swindled around because people didn't feel like moving it. Okay. So I'm like, somebody done threw my shit away. Like, I'm getting mad. Like, bro. So I finally found the stand. It's broke because somebody just threw it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't care about my stuff. They don't care about my. They don't care about my crafts and stuff, and they don't care that I need the light or whatever, apparently. So, I fix it. It's all good. Then, I realized I did all of that just to not even have the freaking cord to plug the light in. Can't find it. Don't know where it is. I'm really hoping it's in this house. I looked for like an hour. I couldn't find it. So, excuse the lighting. I was trying to do better in this video, but I guess we not we we we, we not gonna do that. But y'all will be okay, I'm I'm sure. If I get out of breath, y'all already know the deal. I'm pregnant. Oh my god, she is fully pregnant, okay? Right. My son needs to come on, cause I am personally not a fan of pregnancy, okay? People will tell you, oh, it's supposed to be the most beautiful time in your life. And um, um, it's beautiful and I'm ready for it to be all okay? Anyway, <laughs> what it is. So, oh, what's up? I'm here. I'm back. Y'all probably thought I was welling about the QA, but I promise y'all. Okay. Lashes on when you stand my freaking face, as usual. But, um, promise y'all, I've been trying to record this video forever. And either I was gonna record, and then my mama ended up telling me to go somewhere with her or do something, she got out of work early, or then I started doing something else. Sorry, y'all, I'm really smacking because I'm tired. These are my favorite, like, boo. If you don't like these, what you doing? I'm love stop burning. And now it's about to be something my teeth. But yeah, so I'm really excited. I got a lot of participation this time. I was really surprised because I've been had this channel like gajillions of years ago, okay? Like if you look back, my first video I think was what, three or four years ago and the numbers was all right. I was doing a product review so product reviews get a lot of uh views and stuff but you know i'm just gonna try to show my personality because you know people say i'm kind of sort of funny sometimes so we just gonna go with that and let it flow i at first i was so in my head about it because i'm like bro every time i make a video i have to be like hey youtube and just like and subscribe i do want y'all to like comment and subscribe okay like please please do that do that like what you here for if you're not gonna do that you know what i'm saying do that do that do that but i just feel like on youtube it's a whole bunch of fake ass people i don't know how to be fake i don't know how to i know how to switch it up because my mama taught me that code switching you know unfortunately you have to do that i can put on my little hello this is ayana yes you know my little custom service voice and and whatnot but like when it comes to being in front of the camera it's just like what am i why am I trying to be somebody else? So I can only be me, okay? Anyway, I, I said all that to, to, to ask, answer these questions. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first question, I actually wrote this backwards. So <laughs> I just realized the first question is on the second page. And it was really an interesting question. The question is as follows. It says... Do you pronounce the P in raspberry? Nigga, that's what you wanted to ask me? Like, for real, like, that was, that, that's what you wanted to ask me? Raspberry. 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 No, I don't pronounce, I don't, raspberry. I don't pronounce no damn P. Anyway, <laughs> um, the next question is, can you remember your first date ever? 
Huh, my first date. My first date, I was probably... Oh, it depends on what y'all... Like, what is considered a real first date? Because I could say I can go back to high school and I could say my first date was probably the movies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. My first date was probably the movies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the movies. Um, it, and then it says, how was it? Um, I'm pretty sure we just watched the movie. And um, you can't really go wrong with watching movies. It's not much talking or anything like that. So the movie was, I think the movie was good. <laughs> um, and to say, what was your worst day ever? I can remember this off the bat because I think I told this story before. Like, And I really don't want to make this a long video and be going on and on. But baby, let me tell you. So I was talking to this shorty, right? He was my Snapchat crush. I had never, I don't even know how we became friends with Snapchat. Y'all know people just be, y'all be having some random people on Snapchat. Like, where did you even come from? Where did you even add me? How did you add me? How did you find me? You know, it was one of them type things. And he was real cute or whatever. And then I got his Instagram some type of way. And then like all his pictures was cute and shit to me. But I noticed like he only had pictures from like the neck up or like, it was never a full body picture. Like, it was never a full body picture. Wasn't paying attention to that though. I was just like, he is so cute. And I was just so hooked on how he looked that, you know, like we started texting or whatever. And I thought it was okay. I would say he cool, but it was like, I could tell something was off about dude. But I was like, you know, me being me, I'm like, why not? Like, I'm a let you take me out because it's very rare that i let people take me out which now anyway we'll get to that in another video uh yeah i'm definitely gonna let people take me out though but <laughs> um so yeah he had he was like he want to take me out whole time shorty lives in maryland mind you so he wanted to take me out he knew where i lived like i live in the seven five i'm like so you gonna drive out here you trying to drive out here <laughs> take me out like oh you sir it's like you want to you want to be with the kid like you trying to murder me like a bitch special <laughs> but yeah so he came from maryland you know what i'm talking about like i was all excited so he pulled up in his car i was like okay at least he got a car that was mean but like i thought no y'all have to understand this is coming from a humble place i thought my car was bad but it was like when he pulled up in his little hoop, I'm like, oh, the joke don't need. Is it gonna get us to where we're going on a date? Like it, the, the, the jump was acting like it didn't want to start when I got in there. I was like, do you want to take my car? <laughs> cause I ain't trying to get stuck nowhere with you. And that was another thing too. I was scared because that was my first time kind of like being picked up. Like, and it's crazy because that used to be the norm back in the day. But now it's like, you don't know, these people be psychos. You got these people picking you up. You know, I ain't never met him nowhere else but online. So while I'm making this story long as shit, boy, I got to wrap it up. So um, basically, long story short, we went to Dave and Buster's in Lane Haven. If you're from the 75, you know where it is. You know what I'm talking about. It's the little junk. Go in there, you play games. You know, it's a real cute, real cute day, real cute. So I was like, okay, this is cute. Like, bitch, first of all, we get there. And now I've always have money, okay? I've never been the type to expect or, um, like i know and that's what i'm saying like as i'm older now i'm trying to learn how to accept that because really these niggas be fuck boys and they be broke and anyway next next caller so basically he was like on some shit like the lady was like oh are you paying for tokens for both of y'all this nigga says no i look at him and i, I already knew i said he's not the one you just blew it within five minutes of me fucking talking to you. Like, like, who, baby, baby, did you think the gas was paying for the day? You, you thought, cause you, you drove, you drove here from Maryland to not take me on a date, bro. And here I was thinking I was some type of special person. Like, 
that was the first red flag i said i don't know how y'all are with dates but my thing is if you ask me on a date and you're adamant about asking me on a date you're paying for the date baby like i don't care how much money i got i don't care if i'm michelle obama <laughs> you're paying for the date honey like but i i won't even tripping i was at the time i was only i was young too i was like what 19 20 21 <laughs> i don't know i was something like that but no nah, i had to be like 19 20 but it was just so funny to me because i automatically knew i was like he's not my type first of all dude gets out the car before we even pull up into the dave and buster's head big as shit i'm talking about head is on blockbuster i'm talking about head is on u-haul truck beep beep like that shit was big as a bitch i was like bro your pictures did not look like this like he was like cute like i couldn't explain it he it was it was the body proportions for me like the head was huge as shit then he was real skinny and and like almost like short as me so i knew that was off the bat i said oh we're not getting married so <laughs> um he was like he that already just blew me like why the fuck is your head so big and i got a big ass head like i really do i have a peanut you know what i'm saying but no like his head compared to his body was doing too much like body yaddy yaddy head ass like no that was too much for me and my brain and then when he said he wasn't paying for the tokens that put icing on the cake but me being me i'm not a sour puss i'm still gonna have fun and then try to enjoy myself as much as i can so i'm having fun playing games whole time like i i won a lot of tickets and stuff like whole time dudes complaining first of all first we ate at the little um because you know you can eat in there so we ate first and of course i paid for that shit too and <laughs> and first he called his mama a bitch in front of me i i was like on the first date the first the first the first i was like hmm okay this is weird like you called your mama a bitch and i was like i was like damn you just gonna call your mama a bitch like i think i actually said that on a date like bro you just gonna call your mama a bitch like and you said first time meeting me like you want some other shit and he was like i told you i was an asshole which he did y'all like i think something wrong with me because i do niggas be telling me stuff and I, I it goes into one ear and out the other all i see is fine and then it's just like everything else i don't hear like he did tell me he was an asshole but i didn't think he was like for real but i could tell he was off like throughout the whole date to make a long story short and i think i said it already so i'm not making a long story short because if i would have did that then we would have been done with the story <laughs> but yeah so like um he called his mama bitch in front of me i was drinking my juice and i just wanted to go play games or whatever the nigga started crying because he didn't get enough tickets to buy something by the end of the day i just was like you know what you're a female like you want my tickets bruh why this nigga say yeah why this nigga say yeah y'all why he say yeah he won't post to take my tickets like what type of man what type of guy takes a girl on a date bitches the whole entire date about not getting tickets and lets the girl give her let's the girl give you her tickets you were supposed to get me this in the movies they be getting bears like you were supposed to win some games, get me a bear. Everything was supposed to be straight. He took my tickets, baby. That's when I knew it was a no for me. I said, we're not getting married. <laughs> so that was the worst day I ever had when I was like 19. And that's why you get to know people a little bit more before you end up meeting up. It's ways you can do it. I know you, you, you're you going to essentially meet up, but these niggas do not be how they be on the internet they be cap cap okay they be capped out captain crunch okay i don't know why i said that corny shit anyway um next caller they said what if they say how old were you when you first started dating i was 16 i was in 10th grade okay boy was like a yay tall okay he was a fuck nigga okay i never went back to short niggas after that okay take heed to that advice 
um my biggest weakness my biggest weakness would be procrastination <laughs> procrastination um i procrastinate on everything like until the last minute i'm late everywhere that i go i'm late for everything that i do okay um i may have ideas and stuff that i want to put into play but it don't be happening because i be so in my head that i just end up not doing it and then i don't have any content and then i'm sad because then i didn't do it so yeah that's my weakness on um, procrastination um how long does it take you to do your hair and makeup two hours all of my friends hate me they will tell you every single time two hours is, is consistent if something starts at 12 baby you better let me know at 5 30 p.m because if not and i might still be late like that's why i be late everywhere doing my hair and makeup jeans or skirts neither i like pants baby i can't i can't do the jeans or the skirts the jeans be like it be like that little scratchy even good jeans i mean jeggings are cool they're fine but i don't like jeans like that and i don't like skirts neither i prefer dresses or pants um what quality do you admire most about yourself nothing <laughs> i'm just playing but um my creativity probably would be my number one quality i admire by myself that and probably i would say my personality I, i'm really um a giving person i have a a big heart that gets me in trouble a lot but i feel like the right person i'll appreciate it one day and my friends appreciate it so i feel like you know it ain't for nothing um what's your preferred preferred what that ain't even a word what's your preferred yo like what in the world like i wrote it what is your preferred nail shape and why my preferred nail shape is definitely gonna have to be the coffin baby long coffin and i don't know why at square is too square like i like long nails and i feel like i don't like long square nails stilettos be too pointy it's giving me witch i don't know like i just like coffin and then next question is do you believe in soulmates if so do you think a person can have more than one in different phases of their life do i believe in soulmates do i i don't know <laughs> i honestly do not know like i feel like at a point in time i did but our generation so weird i just and this might be negative and i try not to be negative but i just feel like and it might be because of the stage i am currently in in my life right now why my answer to this question is the answer um i just be feeling like our generation don't really have soulmates and if they do like they don't work hard enough to keep them or to stay with them a long time like i don't know i feel like soulmates do exist but i feel like our generation doesn't really believe in it as a whole like um they don't want to put no effort in to keep the girl once they got her type shit and then she said do you think more than one in different phases of your life i think i definitely do think you can have more than one soulmate at different phases in your life because like when i first started dating versus now like that's kind of a long that's a different age gap and like your perception of love changes and your perception of relationships changes and stuff that you want changes. You change every three years actually. So yeah, I believe you can have more than one as well. Um, you can also have friends soulmates too. Um, what gets your creativity flowing? This is a funny question cause it's pain, fuck niggas and turmoil. <laughs> disaster that's what gets my creativity going i wish i could answer that in a different way but that's dead ass the answer like that's dead ass the answer i don't know why i'm like that it must be the scorpio in me i read that somewhere do not quote me on that but um they say dark times motivate us to be more creative like we tap into our energy when we're going through bad things 
And I want to change that though, because I want to be like more into it when I'm just happy. But I mean, it is like I, I do be more creative when I'm happy, but it's like first something bad has to happen for me to be creative. Because that's kind of what's happening now. Like, I've been doing YouTube, but I just wanted to get back into it. It's like everything that I've been wanting to do um, kind of got pushed to the side. Because sometimes you lose yourself trying to find other people. So, that's my problem. Which is why my creativity probably comes out the most when I'm by myself. Because I'm not putting all of my energy into another person. I'm putting it all into myself. But, um... Somebody said, okay, I'm not going to answer that. I'm going to make a whole different video. It was a, how do you color your hair, but I'm, that's going to be a different video. Um, are you nervous about being a mom? Yes, I am nervous about being a mom, but I'm not really nervous about being a mom as a whole. I'm more so nervous about the baby popping out of my vagina. I haven't quite come to terms with that yet. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, uh, but I feel like raising a child you know everybody says the same thing you're never really fully ready to raise a child no matter if you're in your 20s 30s whatever like raising a child is always going to be something that's going to be challenging um it's going to have its ups and downs but i do feel like i'm capable of being a loving mother my child is not going to want for nothing my child is already spoiled and i just feel like you know i'm gonna do the best i can do and that's all we can do so it's nothing to really be nervous about um now, as they get older, those feelings are probably going to change because it's like, damn, like, I really got a teenager type shit. Like, I really, and those preteen years be hard. But overall, nervous about having a child and raising a child? No. Um, first thought when I found out I was pregnant. My first thought when I found out I was pregnant, oh, shit literally that was that was my first thought and then my second thought was probably so that's the one time you listen yeah so then my third thought was probably damn i'm really pregnant <laughs> that those was all my thoughts um so somebody said what's your dream you're so talented um what would be the i'm finally here moment my friend ebony said that first of all i want to say thank you so much girl like thank you for the compliment i try you know i try to be talented or whatever but um my dream my ultimate dream is to be a published author a lot of people don't know that about me they think i'm just like into hair and makeup i am i love hair and makeup i love to paint i love to draw i love you know everything but writing um has always been embedded in me from day one i used to have journals when i was in elementary school every time i went to the book fair i would buy books but i would buy a journal first and it usually was the most expensive one in the book fair my mama would be like why do you keep buying these notebooks and these jail pens and she was real mad but little did she know you know i'm talented and i needed to be writing like I always was, I always was good at English. I love literature. I love writing. I love reading. Um, it's definitely a passion of mine. But my ultimate dream overall, like other than being a published author, because I do want to publish multiple books, it's just to inspire other women that I know been through some shit, been having some tough times. You know, let people know they're not alone. Um, I want people to be able to relate. I want people to feel like you know. Even though I'm not physically there with you, I've been through this with you and I can reach you through my writing. I can reach you through my art. So whether I'm inspired through my, my books, my um, art, me just doing hair and makeup, the conversations that I have with my clients sometimes get deep. Like whatever it is that I do, I just want to inspire others. Like that's really my sole purpose in life. Um, I feel like that's my purpose and I try to walk in my purpose and just stick to it that's why like even though no matter what i go through and like 2020 was really trying okay it tried me a thousand times okay like it really did i was all out of character all out of whack but overall i really try to be a positive role model to people i really try to let people know they're not alone because a lot of times just <laughs> the last few months alone like i've learned like so many women go through the same things as you and you thinking you alone and you're not like you're never really alone and i felt alone before so i never want anybody to feel that way 
So I just want all of the young women, um, young teenagers, preteens, um, young adults, you know, I just want everybody to know that like this life shit, it has no manual and you're not going to be the first one going through this shit and you're not going to be the last. Like that's really my um, ultimate dream. I'm finally here moment would be that I'm a published author. I got my brand off the ground because I do have a brand with hair and makeup, but I do want to take it to the next level. And I have some other business ventures I want to dip in, dabble into as well that I'm not going to say on camera right now. But I do have certain goals that I want to achieve. My I'm finally here moment would be when I achieve those goals and when I'm in my house with my baby and we are living more than comfortable. That is probably I'm finally my I'm finally here moment. Oh, and that I'm doing brand deals because that's what I want to do on the side as a side hustle. I always wanted to work with different brands and stuff like that. And I would love to do that. So, yeah, that would be my I'm finally here moment. Just um, inspiring people, being at peace, having a healthy son and, you know, us living good. That would be my I'm finally here moment. Um... Yeah, so that was all of the questions. Y'all asked some really good questions, which is why I couldn't shorten a lot of y'all's questions because y'all want to get real deep into the things and stuff like that. But, um, <laughs> nah, I love deep questions. I'm very, uh, I'm very, um, dang, I can't think of the word. Like, damn, am I? What am I? Shit. But I love deep thinking. I love to think beyond the surface level. I love people who don't just see looks and can actually intrigue you and get your mind working. Like, that's what makes me happy when people be thinking, when they be using that noggin. Anyway, I'm gone. <laughs> when the last time you heard it like this, smoke some, drink some, get me.